Hi Saviors, GH here. It's time again for another monthly video wherein I talk about the games I played. And this one is for the month of August. We got a lot of games to talk about. And, you know, let's jump right into it and let's do this. Okay, first, you all know this, Tree of Savior. Okay, how about let's turn this into a state of the game segment because you all know I play this game a lot. So, population. Right now on Steam, it's about 3,000 players, give or take. Not really much, but it's a lot for the game because the server ain't set up to handle 2,000 players. We're lagging so bad right now, especially at peak hours. I avoid peak hours because at the moment, it's just unplayable for me. For the economy, it's fine. Hard work will get you what you want. Nothing crazy except the mega pay to win items. Viboras are getting cheaper and cheaper up to a point that I don't even care anymore. Heck, I just saw a Vibora weapon icon on the marketplace for 20 million and I don't even seem to be excited seeing a cheap Vibora. If you look at it, the glacial weapons are more expensive at times. But there are still super expensive by Boras. It's just a matter of time before we get those cheap because updates are coming that will make those items more common. And speaking of updates, we expect to have one soon because we have nothing happening in the game right now. And most of the people I know ain't logging on that much because we got no main event, no new update. So yeah, all in all right now we're waiting for updates to make the game more interesting again. And that's Tree of Savior. Fun, but slow updates. Next game is Gorgon Tales. Technically, I just play this every now and then. And I just finished the first world and I can tell you, I wanna make videos about this game. I like it. Seems like mobile games are getting it right now. If you don't know Guardian Tales, it's a Legend of Zelda-like game, a free Legend of Zelda game. The 2D top-down perspective Zelda, I really like this game. I hope I get in the group to hardcore play this. I hope I can organize my schedule to make time for this game because god damn, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed with this game. If you want to check it out, it's on the Google Play Store. Third game is Marble Super War. Yes, I've been playing this daily and it's still giving me the rush of BBP games, but the game seems not to be getting as popular as I was expecting it to be. It's still in the shadows of Mobile Legends. I still have plans for content with this game, but not right now, because hardly anything changed since the last time I created something for this game. We are getting new heroes mostly, heroes that I don't know. Yeah, that's Marble Super War. If you want to check it out, it's on the Google Play Store on selected regions only. Next game is SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. I'm almost done with the game and it was fun. SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom is a platformer video game based on the Nickelodeon animated series SpongeBob SquarePants. Playing this brings me back to the good old PlayStation 1 days, but with better graphics. I hope we get more of these kind of games. What I meant is the quality. Anyways, if you want to check this game out, it's on the Epic Games Store. Fifth game is G Darius. It's a shoot 'em up arcade game released by Taito in 1997. I played this on an emulator because none of my five PlayStation 1 console is working anymore. Yes, the last one died a few months ago. Yeah, I love the PlayStation 1. Anyway, I played it like every now and then. For those of you who don't know, shmups is a genre I really like. It's one of my top genres. Sadly though, we don't get any high quality shmups these days, so yeah. Gidarius is fun! Last game I'm gonna show you guys is Fall Guys! Yup, the super popular platformer battle royale game developed by Mediatonic. Okay, let me tell you this. Fall Guys is an amazing game. I wish they made this free to play so that more people can join in and have fun. Because this game is fun and they are very creative in the ways that they try to eliminate you and you know the game has no skill level to play the game even if you have no skill just hop in believe me you're gonna enjoy the game 
So I will just leave you guys with a gameplay of mine. And this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one. Okay, guys, let's do this. Let's defeat these noobs. Let's go. You guys are no match for me. Oh, uh, bro. <laughs> no, that's the wrong turn. Open up. Okay, open up. Open up. Uh. What? People are already at the finish line. No. <laughs> oh, what the f? Uh. Defeat those guys. Oh, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> this game is fun.